Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please take a moment to silence your phones. Our gathering chant this morning is number 595 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Christians Let Us Love One Another, 595. Our presider is Father Cecil Critch. Please stand. Christians, let us love one another as we share the true living bread. Jesus is our God and our brother. With his flesh and blood we are fed. Everyone who Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Morning. Morning, Father. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were saved to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. He Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when any of you has a grievance against another, do you dare to take it to court before the unrighteous instead of taking it before the saints? Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels to say nothing of ordinary matters? If you have ordinary cases then, do you appoint as judges those who have no standing in the church? I say this to, shame, to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to decide between one believer and another, but a believer goes to court against a believer and before unbelievers at that? In fact, to have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be defrauded? But you yourselves wrong and defraud and believers at that. Do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? And this is what some of you used to be. But you were washed and you were sanctified you were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have a bright him victory. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. The Lord made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done Oh. 
Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. And when they came, he called his disciples and chose twelve of them, whom he also named apostles Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, and James and John, and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was also called a zealot. Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place, and with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea, Jerusalem, and the coast of Tyre and Sidon. They had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases, and those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all in the crowd were trying to touch him, for power came out from him and healed all of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Luke depicts Jesus at prayer more than any of the other evangelists, and it is interesting to see that pattern in Luke's portrayal of Jesus. There are two locations in today's Gospel reading, and you see this pattern, a mountain and a level place. Jesus went up the mountain to pray, and he spent prayer in mountain spaces. Indeed, Luke tells us that he spent the whole night in prayer to God. He had an important choice to make, choosing from his many disciples, 12, who would be his kind of inner circle, who would be apostles. A disciple is a student, an apostle is sent. That's what it means, to be sent out. And they represented the 12 tribes of Israel in the kingdom of God, the new kingdom of God. And he needed to be prayerful in prayerful communion with God to make that choice. Just as the mountain was a place of prayer, he came to level ground. The level ground was a place of ministry, both teaching and healing the sick and broken. The gospel reading tells us that people came from a very large area to listen to him and to be cured of their diseases. The mountain and the level ground, prayer and ministry to others formed the pattern of Jesus' life. Our own lives as followers of Jesus will have something of that same, or should have something of that same pattern. We spend time in prayer and we spend time in the service of others. We need to be in communion with God in prayer and in communion with others in loving service. Each day we spend time in prayer, whether it is in prayer at the Mass or Eucharist or other forms of prayer, personal and private, and as well as public. Each day we come from our prayer to each other to bring something of the Lord's love and compassion that we have experienced in prayer to those we meet. Although Jesus prayed to choose the best for his apostles, they were still human and still unfaithful and sinful. One of the group, Judas Iscariot, became a traitor and Peter denied Jesus. The Lord calls, but those that are called need to respond to that calling because we have the free will to do so or not. The Lord never ceases to call each one of us. Each day we seek afresh to respond to the Lord's call. Our daily response to the Lord's call must come out of prayer as well. We need to be in prayerful communion with Jesus if we are to respond to his daily call for service of others. Our prayers of intercession today. We pray for Pope Francis and his apostolic visit to Asia, for his protection and the success of his apostolic visit, we pray to the Lord. We pray for Archbishop Peter and for all those who shepherd our church in these difficult, challenging times. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, especially in Israel and Gaza and certainly Ukraine. Other areas of conflict in our world, we pray to the Lord. During the season of creation, we pray 
that we may always respect the earth, our common home, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick recommended to our prayers for Sister Roisin Gannon, Sister Connie Power, Sister Patrice Bourgeois, Kathy Farrell, Father John Aaron, Yvonne Steiner, Christopher Anthony, Chelsea Coombs, and for all those who have on our prayer list for our, di our parish, we pray to the Lord. And for all those who have died, we pray especially today for Marianne O'Leary, Madonna Bride, Joseph Koch, Esther Costello, whose funeral is tomorrow, and Marie Whalen. For these and all those who have died in the peace of the Lord Jesus, we pray to the Lord. And for your own intention today in the quiet of your hearts today. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all the prayers we have in our hearts. We make them in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. creation but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life and by the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity and blessed are you Lord God of all creation but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink Wash away our iniquity and cleanse us of our sin. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom all things were made, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling a will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. And so, with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. Mercy. 
mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should that enter, enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 6.6 .6 in Celebrate in Song, One Love Released, 6.6. .6.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the Passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is number 6.39 in Celebrate in Song, the summons 6.39. you 